an entity. A group of three friends were at one of their houses having a good time, when suddenly, out of nowhere, the owner heard some creepy noises coming from the bathroom, which at first, they brushed it off as just a strange coincidence, but after a while the noises persisted, so they decided to check it out. What they captured left them completely terrified. Están escuchando, soy yo. Se están escuchando más de ruidos, tú. Yo vine del baño. No, no, no vayas, no vayas, no vayas, no vayas, no vayas, no vayas, no vayas. Estás loco, estás loco, eh. Hermano, ¿qué es lo que quiere que vayas? Hermano, venga, vamos poco a poco, poco a poco, poco a poco, tío. Una polla. Una polla. No, 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 no
¿Dónde carajo se habrá metido este? Susto. Ya fue, ya fue, vamos, vamos. Vamos a meternos en la casa de este loco, a ver qué onda. Hace como dos semanas que no da señales de vida, no aparece nada. Antonio Antonio Toño, soy yo. Javier. La puta madre. ¡Ey! ¡Eh, loco! ¡Soy Javier, boludo! ¡Che, loco, esos ojo! ¡Ya fue, boludo! ¡Vine a ver qué onda! ¿Cómo andás? ¿Estás bien? Che, loco, si yo vos salí. ¿Escuchan eso? He calls for his friend Antonio all over the house. But there's no answer. It's what he sees after opening this door that gives him nightmares. Toño! ¡Ta madre que lo parió!
sees his friend Antonio hanging inside one of the rooms, shaking him to the core and causing him to run out of the room. Shortly afterwards he sees something watching him above one of the tall doors down the hallway and then he quickly decides it's time to get out of there and runs away before anything else happens. Afterwards Javier calls the police and after they discover what happened to Antonio, they eventually close off the windows and entrances to the house. But if you recall Javier took the keys while he was inside previously and after experiencing some strange and creepy occurrences inside the house himself, he is now certain that something isn't right and is determined to find answers as to what led his young 22 year old friend to take his own life. On another day he returns through the back entrance once again. This is what he captures. When I found Antonio, this is piece. Mierda. Una laucha. Hay un poco de, de escalofrío estar acá, se siente, se siente una carga un poco pesada, qué sé yo. ¡Eh! ¡Eh! ¡Qué mierda! La linterna. ¿Qué pasó? Mierda. Eh, hey, hey. eh. ¿Quién es? ¿Quién anda ahí? Mierda. Hola, qué mierda anda ahí la concha de su madre. Hey, hey, hey. Javier sees someone walk into a room inside the house, but just seconds after as he follows him inside, he finds no one there, and then moments later as he turns around, another door slams shut in front of his face, all by itself, and he sees this person again, but it quickly vanishes around the corner. Javier believes something in the house is playing tricks on him, and something sinister is going on here, which caused Antonio to do this unthinkable action. So he sets up some security cameras around the house and almost immediately starts capturing strange things. Watch closely.
A dark figure can be seen lurking inside the house, as well as many doors slamming and strange noises being heard all over the place. Many viewers believe that the figure is either the spirit of Antonio, now bound to the house, or something far more evil. However, Javier will not give up until he gets some answers about the tragic fate that his friend suffered. So hopefully, we'll receive some more updates very soon. Skull Face In the next video, two security guards are reviewing some security footage captured by an outdoor security camera outside their building, somewhere in Argentina. Something happened on the previous day, and the security guards believe it must have been captured on the CCTV. They patiently go through the footage captured on the camera and eventually notice something odd and disturbing. Watch closely. <laughs> The security guards were left creeped out and baffled by this strange capture they have witnessed. The woman can be seen just standing there in the middle of the street and after lighting something on fire, she just seemingly vanishes into thin air amidst the smoke, as if she became the smoke herself. Many viewers as well as the security guards themselves pointed out that the smoke seems to morph and form into a skull. <laughs> After seeing this unexplainable event captured from the unedited CCTV footage, the security guards are certain that they witnessed something paranormal that day and that the woman on the footage is either some kind of demon or someone practicing some strange witchcraft because even if the smoke forming a skull was just a strange coincidence the fact that the person just vanishes into thin air can't be explained and they were never seen leaving the camera's view so just what could this be? let me know what you think a Japanese house. The next video comes from the Japanese channel Fourth Wall. In the video, one of the crew's cameramen goes into a house located on the outskirts of town, near the foot of a mountain, somewhere in Japan, around late mid August 2023. The house has supposedly been abandoned for the last 50 years, with the former residents being a family of five a father in his 70s and four sons in their 40s. The house stands on a piece of land now owned by a woman named Ray. Due to the location, the information on the place is limited, but the local residents say that all five of this particular household's residents were all reported dead at the same time. The cameraman decides to go inside alone and record some footage. What he captures is undeniably chilling.
One of the sliding doors can be seen rattling and moving by itself, but when he goes up to it to check, he sees nothing there. At this point the cameraman is pretty shaken up and wants to leave, but he decides to proceed through the house and finish recording, and that's when he sees this. A dark figure can be seen moving behind the glass, and then a door slides shut all on its own, and when he turns back around, the figure is completely gone. Now around three months later, in mid-September of 2023, a different cameraman comes over to check the place out, and he too has a creepy experience. He also captures a dark shadow figure lurking behind one of the doors, but when he goes to open it and search the room, he finds nothing there. The sighting is similar to what the other cameraman captured behind the glass. He then decides to set up some night vision cameras around the house while he stays the night, and after some time, one of them captures something creepy. Watch closely. A creepy figure can be seen slowly moving across the windows in one of the rooms, and then seconds later, a door opens by itself. The activity seems to be more frequent when somebody is around the house, and supposedly nobody ever saw the father's four sons ever leaving the house, which is strange for four men in their forties to never go outside, leading the cameramen to think these ghosts are waiting for people to visit. But who knows, they will be conducting another investigation into the place very soon, so we may get some more answers.
If you have any video recommendations, you can send them over to depths of despair business at gmail.com. Attached to child. For about a year, Selsa and John have been experiencing some paranormal events inside their home, from sudden whispers being heard around the house to light bulbs occasionally exploding on its own. They have two daughters aged 10 and 3 and they have a security camera set up inside their bedroom to monitor them and make sure they're safe at all times. One day the older daughter started struggling to sleep, saying that something keeps waking her up and trying to tickle her. One night Selsa decides to check the security camera in the girl's bedroom and see something chilling. The blanket on the bed seems to move all on its own and even disrupts the girl sleeping, although there's nothing in the room that could have caused it. Two weeks later, it happens again. This time, the young daughter is playing in the room. Watch closely. The blanket keeps moving as if something is tugging on it and the little girl seems to be talking to something that isn't there in the exact same area and even looks like she's trying to show it something on the phone. This makes it convincing that there could be something there, although harmless as it may seem as the little girl is not scared. Some viewers speculate that it may be draining the older daughter's energy and trying to manifest, which is why she doesn't seem to wake up for it all. On another night, both daughters are in bed when the camera captures something else. It looks like something reaches out from behind the bed and moves away when the girl goes to sit up. It's hard to say if it was her foot going through the gap or if it was something else. But on another night, the living room camera captures something lurking in the hallway. A dark shadow figure can be seen looking out from behind a corner. Shortly afterwards, the activity in the house starts to become more noticeable and objects start moving on their own. On one day, she's watching TV when she suddenly hears some noises and decides to check it out. This is what she captured. Okay, I've been hearing noises. It's okay, stay. Shh, sit down. Are you scared? Sometimes I hear noises, sometimes things get thrown off the counter. I just want to make sure that you see nothing because this is really creepy. I'm so over it.
Come on, John, hurry up and get home. Can you stop, please? Sometimes things get thrown off the counter. Sometimes the water gets shut on. Sorry, turned on. <sighs> it's, really, it's really creepy. Who is it, Lucy? Who is it? Probably gonna go live as soon as John gets home so that uh, I'm not scared <laughs> while I'm recording. Touch it. That's just the cat box. Yeah, I'm gonna go live as soon as John gets here because I'm I'm creeped out. <laughs> a few drawers open by themselves and then close on their own shortly afterwards and when she inspects the room there's no sign of anything there but one of the security cameras in the living room captures something a little later on Something strange can be seen knocking some objects off the table. It looks like an entity manifested out of nowhere momentarily. So is Celsa's house really haunted? Or is it all just an intricate ruse? I'll let you judge. Haunted house. No information is provided on the video, except for the fact that the uploader decided to explore some kind of abandoned house somewhere in Poland that turned out to be haunted. What he captured inside frightened him to the core. Watch closely.
an old music box inside the house starts going off by itself and then an object falls off the shelf moments later before finally the music box starts playing again on its own and the glass object is launched at the explorer shattering on the ground and causing him to run out of there in fear it seems as though the longer he stayed there the quicker the activity escalated almost as if something didn't want him inside Hell Town Over in Ohio lies a creepy location known as Hell Town which is full of creepy and bizarre legends from supernatural occurrences to devil worshipping cults many people report that they can feel an ominous presence and a negative atmosphere just from being in the area and based on its history it comes as no surprise the origin of the town started with a Native American tribe known as Lenape eventually the Lenape were forced to leave the area after many tragic battles took place between them and colonial American troops and settlers which claimed many of their people's lives now the place is associated with fear and nightmares leaving many people scared to go there on one night popular urban explorer Chris from Urbex Hill decides to explore Helltown all alone from the moment he reaches Everett covered bridge you can tell that the place gives off eerie vibes but that doesn't stop Chris from traversing deeper into Helltown and when he reaches a big old barn house things take a turn for the worst barn of Hilltown. just as he enters the satanic barn his audio briefly cuts out on its own for a few seconds but that's just the start of it as he continues to walk on afterwards it starts to get more creepy I'm surprised this barn is still standing despite how old it is. What the hell is that? What the fuck? What the fuck is that? His camera battery suddenly dies out, but during that time, some strange noises can be heard all at the same time causing Chris to feel more uneasy and alarmed of what may be out there it was most likely a pack of wild animals like coyotes howling but it's hard to say it could also have been something far more sinister after sorting out his batteries he continued to walk through Helltown determined to explore the place yet cautious of what may be lurking around after a while something terrifying makes him stop in his tracks I keep hearing something, it sounds like it's following me
keep hearing something. What does this lead to? I don't wanna get lost. There's bugs everywhere. Something's over there. I can hear it. What looks like a pair of glowing eyes can be seen amidst the darkness off in the distance, and they appear to be gazing straight at Chris. He knew something was out there and he could hear something, as if this thing was following him and quickly hid when he looked towards its eyes. He then says whatever it is must have been at least six to eight feet tall, based on the height of the grass. Luckily Chris listened to his instincts and decided not to proceed further, and that he should leave before anything happens. So when you get the feeling that you're being watched in Helltown, it may just very well be true. Ghost Dog This next video was suggested by Maria. Emma Jean, along with her friend, was staying at an Airbnb when suddenly her dog Rosie started behaving in a strange manner, barking at what seems to be nothing. What makes this more unusual is that Emma states Rosie is usually very quiet and doesn't make much noise, but out of nowhere she started behaving differently which prompted her to start recording this, thinking she may be barking at someone, or something we can't see. Is there a ghost? Is there a ghost? Yeah. yeah. What is this first? Where's the ghost? Right there. Where? Where is it? She's staring at the thought. One of them implies that she may be barking at a ghost, and it turns out they were right, because what they captured left them at a loss for words. Take a look. What the fuck? A strange and creepy shadow reaches out to grab the dog Rosie, right at the moment she retreats to run away as if she saw it. However, when the camera panned around, we could see that there was nothing physically close enough that could have caused it, especially nothing with that strange shape. Many people suggested that it was most likely the spirit of a former animal that lived in this residence previously and was trying to attack or play with the dog. But whatever the case, it was enough to give Emma the creeps. House in the Woods Robert and Dan found an old abandoned house located deep in the woods of Waverly Hall, Georgia, which was supposedly built sometime in the early 1900s according to their estimation, and was later abandoned after the last resident, a man named Mr. Willis, supposedly died inside the place. Since then it has been given the nickname Old Willis Place. On their channel, they usually examine historical places and things of interest, so they examine all around this strange old structure, and even underneath to see what facts they can deduce about the place. From the outside, mm -hmm. cause that looks like an, doesn't that look like an early settlement style chimney there? It does. What's interesting is the chimney looks like an older style than the house looks. Yeah. 
fallen chimney back here. And there sure is. This was a dry stack chimney. That's fascinating. This house really does look uh, creepy. It doesn't matter what angle you're at. This is a creepy looking house. I'm gonna touch it. This is an old tree right here. That's for sure. But otherwise, don't see anything that really sticks out under here as far as nothing to me. You see anything that says anything to you, Dan? Not really. It's uh, been a lot of pillars replaced under here. Yeah. A lot of floor supports. There go. Go into the falling down part. Oh, that was scared me for a minute there. I'm thinking that this was probably built in the early 1900s and then sometime in the 1920s, 30s maybe, it was sealed inside. They both go underneath the structure to get a closer look at its stability and to see how it was reconstructed. But while doing so, they experience something completely terrifying. Watch closely. So that's a 1958 Coke bottle, right? Oh, what is oh, that? Ah, oh, that's weird. Here. here. That is strange. You heard that, right, Dan? Yes, I did. <laughs> that was weird. All right, that's gonna. That's enough of this old house for a minute. We're gonna go look at something else. Hello. Sounds just like footsteps. <laughs> no. All right, you ready to go? Yeah, I'm ready. Not funny at all. No, not cool. Not cool. I told you this place felt creepy. All right, uh, well, we're going to go ahead and get out of here. Um, so I hope you guys have... All right, that's it. You can Come on. Say, you can say all the goodbyes you want. Let's I'm, go. I'm gone. While underneath the house, a pair of creepy footsteps can be heard slowly walking inside the house right above them. So that's a 1958 Coke bottle, right? Oh, what is that? <laughs> but when they get out to check, there's nobody there. Then, as they prepare to leave the location completely and say their final goodbyes, what sounds like a loud slam or banging sound can be heard coming from within the building. Um, so I hope you guys have... Prompting the two guys to leave immediately. 
Supposedly this is the ghost of the former owner, Mr. Willis, who doesn't want any trespassers on his property. But as always, let me know what you think. Babysitting The first video comes from a babysitter. The girl he is babysitting is playing with her toys and out of nowhere, she tells him that she has a doll that moves by itself when she plays hide and seek. You said it moves? Yeah. That doll? This doll? Yeah. Like you move it or? Wait, what? When does it move? When you play hide and seek with her. When you play hide and seek? Not sure what to make of this, he lets curiosity get the better of him and decides to play hide and seek with the creepy doll to see for himself if it really moves. Oh my god! Sadie, you scared me. Don't do that, dude. The dog comes out of nowhere and scares him, interrupting the game of hide and seek before the doll has a chance to move, in an attempt to protect him from the creepy doll. Because a little later on at night, he puts the five-year-old to bed, and he captures the dog, growling aggressively at the doll, as if it senses something isn't right. Like, I noticed the dog has been staring at the doll. The dog growls at the doll while staring at it for a few minutes. Clearly, we can see the dog is on edge, being in the presence of this doll. A few hours later in the middle of the night, the babysitter takes a nap to pass some time, when all of a sudden, he hears a noise coming from the living room where the doll is located. Upon realizing this, he gets his phone out to record. What he captures is undeniably terrifying. <laughs> Yo! Mysteriously, one of the toys in the living room, right beside the doll, goes off on its own. But even worse, the doll that was in the same position earlier in the day begins to move, lifting its head up to look towards the babysitter before falling backwards and scaring him out of there. This creepy experience really scared the babysitter and we don't know if he will be returning to this house to babysit again after seeing all of that. On the roof just what led him to run away in despair. Find out now. While exploring a bunch of abandoned buildings located in a secluded area, somewhere in Poland, the explorer loses track of time, and before he realizes it, he has already gotten late, and it's now dark outside. So he decides it's time to make his way back home. Unfortunately, waiting around till dark was one of the worst decisions he could have made while in the middle of nowhere. Watch closely.
someone or something with a very pale face can be seen emerging from right on top of the roof amidst the darkness of night and this person seems to have his sights set on the explorer the explorer panics and turns around to run deeper into the woods in an attempt to escape but this creepy person continues to stalk him almost like he's hunting him down Eventually, he manages to escape the sights of this creepy figure and makes it back home safely. Many viewers were also quick to notice how pale the mysterious hunter was. But the fact that he just came sliding down off a rooftop in the middle of nowhere at night just shows how quick it could have been over for the explorer if he was standing a little closer. Camping Nightmare as for this video, the original source is unknown, but in the footage a man decided to go camping solo in the middle of the woods amidst the darkness of night, with his dog, and after setting up his tent and turning in for the night, he is woken up by some disturbing sounds and decides to go and check it out. What he captures is downright chilling. Watch closely. What sounds like a woman wailing can be heard coming from the woods. As the man looks around attempting to locate the source, he starts hearing it coming from all around, making it very hard to distinguish where it's coming from. But his dog starts barking at something off in the distance, and a white figure can be seen just lurking in the darkness. Similarly, in another video, Grizzly Gaz goes camping alone with his dog too. He camps in the middle of the woods by an old disused railway line that was dismantled in 1953. Somewhere in England. At first everything seems fine and he deploys his tent. As it gets late something wakes him up in the middle of his sleep and shakes him to the very core. Take a look.
Hello? Hello? After searching around for the noise, it eventually fades away, and he gives up not being able to find it. He thought it was strange but didn't think too much of it, so he returned to sleep. A little while later, he is woken up once again. Hello? 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 No, I'm off mate, I'm off. Come on, mate. I can still hear it. Absolutely bobbed me pants then. A pair of glowing eyes can be seen behind a tree in the dark woods, just watching him, before quickly darting out of view. This experience left him creeped out, and he says he has never packed away his tent so fast before in his life. Just what do you make of these creepy camp encounters? Let me know down below. 3 AM Lian Rito has been featured on the channel a few times in the past. After experiencing some strange noise disturbances during the night at 3 AM, which eventually got stronger and became something much more terrifying. But then, eventually, the activity just suddenly stopped out of nowhere and Leanne had a few peaceful nights thinking it was over. But just recently, he has been woken up at 3am by
by something creepy once again. Son de nuevo las 3 de la mañana. Estuve durmiendo tranquilo estos días, pero ahora me despertaron de vuelta los ruidos. Me recomendaron que prenda la luz. Me voy a quedar callado. Mierda sos. Déjame salir, hijo de puta. Déjame salir. Déjame salir. Déjame salir. Déjame salir. ¿Qué es eso? First he hears some strange noises coming from the bathroom which appears to be what woke him up. The door then opens by itself and as he goes inside to look around the room, he finds nothing there. And suddenly, the door shuts on him and gets jammed, not opening for a little while as if something was trying to trap him inside. After he gets out, we can then hear what sounds like a baby laughing coming from the same bathroom he just came out of. Leanne's viewers then suggest that he move houses to see if the paranormal activity stops. And lucky for him, he has a countryside house. So he decides to stay there for a little while, to test and see if the creepy activity stops. And perhaps it was just something attached to that old home. But it seems whatever it is follows him to this new house almost immediately after he moved. Watch closely. 3 de la mañana, me vine a la casa del campo. Leí muchos comentarios que me recomendaban que, que, que me mude y me vine para acá para ver si el problema es yo. Pero parece que me sigue porque se escucha. Estoy escuchando. Yo ya no, miedo ya no tengo. Y no hay nadie. El ropero este es grandísimo, pero no, no hay, es increíble, pero parece que me sigue. La verdad, no, no, no. Es eso? Heavy rattling can be heard coming from the closet, but when he opens it, there's nothing there. Moments afterwards, some objects fall on the floor, all on their own. On the next night, things get even worse. Estoy en el baño, sigo acá en la casa del campo, eh, y me están golpeando la puerta, y no puedo salir, y estoy solo. Esa luz la dejé apagada. Déjame tranquilo. Déjame tranquilo. Andate. Something starts banging on the bathroom door while he is using the bathroom. Then a light turns off by itself 
and a door slams shut, and the same baby-like sounds can be heard coming from within the room. But whenever he goes to look inside, he sees nothing there. On another night, he starts hearing knocking on the windows and decides to go outside to check it out when he sees something unnerving. 3 de la mañana, recién salgo de bañarme. Escucho silbidos desde el patio. Mientras me estaba bañando, escuchaba golpes de la ventana. Nunca me había pasado esto. Los silbidos nunca, la verdad. Eh, todo tipo de ruidos, pero silbidos nunca. No sé qué hacer, pero eh, ya fue. Ya fue, voy a salir a, a revisar. Voy a salir a revisar. A estas alturas yo ya no tengo miedo, la verdad. No hay nada. The curtain seems to suddenly stretch out unnaturally as if someone is behind it and he sticks his hand out as it stretches to feel if someone is behind it and he does feel a touch of something so he instantly ducks down to check underneath but as always he finds nothing there. It seems as though whatever is haunting Leonorito is most likely attached to him and not his house seeing as it wasted no time following him. If you have any video recommendations you can send them over to depths of despair business at gmail.com The school night shift Sometime around late November, a school janitor started noticing some strange things while roaming around the school grounds at night during his night shifts. Many other employees try to avoid this area when it starts getting late and after a certain time no students are allowed to wander around this area. Many people believe the school is a creepy place seeing as it was built over a cemetery ground and to make things even more creepy, along the hallways of the school many photos of the old cemetery can be found along with some gravestone pieces above them. Previous janitors that have worked at the school have all said that every night strange and unexplainable things take place in the school. The current janitor has been experiencing some chilling phenomenon and it's gotten to the point where it's freaking him out. So he decides to record. This is what he captures. Alright, I um, I usually don't record while I'm on the job. Um, but this is freaking me out. It's sort of unreal. I'm here at work. I'm here in the janitor's closet. Uh, yeah, let me just show you guys. Just so, I don't know, let you guys know this school was built on a cemetery. Um, I don't know if that helps my situation or not, but previous janitors that have worked here have tried to tell everyone that, you know, every night something happens, some, some spooky shit, I don't know, paranormal or whatever you want to call it, but yeah, I didn't really believe them until tonight. Um, I was in here cleaning up after some students had thrown a party, but um, what's been freaking me out is this one right here. Uh, no matter where I'm at in the classroom or what I decide to do, it just follows me. And do your thing, you stupid balloon. I got you on camera now, so let's just, uh, mm, see? That right there. Um,
Ooh. Okay. See, no, no, no. It just, it just follows me no matter what. Ooh! No, I can't. There is a set of balloons inside one of the classrooms. But oddly enough, one balloon in particular out of all of them seems to move and even follow the janitor as he leaves the classroom, giving him the chills. As he steadily retreats down the hallway, he notices a dark shadow figure quickly dash across the end of the hall in an instant. He then makes the swift decision to end his shift early for the night. However, the next night he returns with a little update. I'm back. Ah, today's Saturday. You guys wanted to know about the video. I haven't come back here, haven't touched anything since last night, so... I'm back to see if everything's still where I left it and see if those balloons are still there. I really don't want to be doing this, um, so I'm doing this for you guys. Like I said, I haven't been back here to touch anything. I don't even know if you guys can see that. Yeah, I'm, I can't. I'm not doing that. He sees the red balloon just waiting there by the entrance in the dark room, which instantly sets off yesterday night's trauma. So he just decides that he's not doing this and leaves. Ever since then, he has been terrified to do the night shifts alone. Followed. As you know, we have featured Nick from the YouTube channel The Hooker a few times before. He has been going through a lot of paranormal activity and even captured shadow figures in his house. He has since moved houses and whatever was haunting him has followed him to his new house and the creepy activity has returned after only a few weeks of peace. He sets up security cameras all over the house and while he is at work, one of the cameras captures this. The next day, while he's home alone in the bathroom, he hears some noises coming from the closet on the other side of the room, so he decides to record while he checks it out, and that's when he sees something terrifying. I'm in my bathroom that's attached to my bedroom. I keep hearing fucking noises coming from the closet that's just on the other side of this fucking wall. But Sarah's gone. Babe. Babe. Hello. Babe. Max. Oh, what the fuck? Dude. I thought I heard someone out in the driveway too. Did you fucking see that? Someone's in my fucking closet. Some sort of right 
Who's here? Who's here? Hello? Oh, Jesus, fuck. God damn, man, what the fuck? Max, come here. Max. Maxie boys, come on. Come on, Max. Max. Come on, Maxies. Come on. Come on, Maxies. Come on. Come on. A black shoe can be seen sticking out from within the closet. And as he pans the camera up, a pale face can be seen inside the dark closet, causing him to run to the garage in a panic. As you can see, Whatever it is inside the closet looks quite a bit taller than him and he mentions that he is six foot two. So whatever is in there is quite tall. He also mentions that he doesn't own any black shoes like the one that is sticking out. After a while the camera shuts off abruptly as his phone runs out of battery. Things continue to get worse for Nick and his house. So he eventually calls in some kind of priest to cleanse the property but this doesn't seem to solve the problem, so Nick resorts to crafting his own homemade Ouija board in an attempt to contact whatever entity that is present in his home and disturbing his peace. Take a look. It's not finished. You know, it's not completely done. I did it. I don't know what I'm doing, so I burned it. I burned the lettering and shit. I made this out of redwood. It's got a little, I put little foam pads on it. Is anybody in this room that would like to say hi or talk to me or tell me why you're here? Tell me why you've been tormenting me for like three years now. Maybe you're the one that I saw in Dyer Lane that night, if you are, can you let me know you're here, maybe tell me why you're here. Anybody, is anybody in this room aside from me? I don't know how to use these things. I don't know if I'm using it right. I don't know if I'm supposed to wait. I don't know. Should I just lightly touch it? I'm assuming so it could it's not very easily liable. Should probably. Well, I guess it's the way it should be, right? I don't. I don't know. I, mean, I can't like. So. If somebody's here, please just say yes. Somebody say yes if you're here. If somebody's here, can you please move this triangle with the circle over to the yes? I don't think that I need to be touching it for any reason. I think that if you're present, you could move it yourself. I've seen you move things in my house many, many times. If you are present and you would like to talk to me, please move that triangle over to the yes. Nothing. Oh, forgot one thing. <laughs> Whoops. Goodbye, whoever might be in the room um, and doesn't want to talk. Goodbye. Go back to where you were. Goodbye. It's like... Okay. Nothing happens during the Ouija board session, but as you may know, a homemade Ouija board can be just as bad as the real thing, especially if you don't have any experience using one.
so this is definitely a bad idea and I'm sure things will get worse after this. And about two weeks later, that's exactly what happens. I should never fucked with that Ouija board. Many objects can be seen moving by themselves and if you notice as one of the scenes changes, you can see this creepy image of what looks like a dark shadow figure. Nick says he's not that good at editing so he took a picture against his camera to make a black scene to use as a transition between clips, but somehow this creepy picture ended up being there instead. A few days later, he arrives home from work and discovers a book on the floor. As he picks it up, he notices something quite disturbing. Watch closely. I came home from work and this was on the floor in the living room. <clears throat> My wife picked these books up from some house that was giving away free shit. But when I picked it up, it automatically wanted to open to this page. Um, like as if somebody looked at this page a lot or something. And I noticed these three burn lines in it. But look what's in the middle. As he picked up the book, it seemed to open onto a specific page that had some parts of it burnt. And in between the burnt words was the word hell. Judging by this, it sounds like whatever is haunting the place is implying that it's evil and demonic. So perhaps Nick accidentally welcomed something even worse into his house through that Ouija board. Or maybe this was always there to begin with. Unfortunately things might get even worse. After discovering the strange transition picture in his video, he then goes to look at the source file and realises that it's actually a horrifying video that he has no recollection of. A video with what looks like a person standing in the dark can be seen. Nick is terrified to find this on his device. He says he never took this video and doesn't know how it got there. At first he thought it was somehow a video of him but some viewers suggest that it's another entity mimicking him, or possibly even worse. Either way, it's definitely bad news. But let me know what you think, and you can head on over to his channel, The Hooker, for more updates. Security Camera This next video was posted to the popular ghost subreddit by user Gabaflasm. He says the footage was taken by his mum's security camera and in the video his brother can be seen putting a Christmas tree into the boot of the car so that he could drive it to his house later on. But while doing so, the camera captures something undeniably chilling. A creepy pale figure can be seen moving behind the trees in the background before slowly disappearing as it goes down. Then a few seconds afterwards when the man tries to close the car door, what looks like two hands can be seen trying to reach out from underneath the car, one after the other, as if they were trying to grab him while he was standing next to the door. But real ghost or not, I'll leave the final judgement to you. New apartment. 
A man named Jack, along with his partner Savannah, moved into a new apartment. And first everything was good, and they were loving the outdoor view. But not too long afterwards, doors started to open on their own, and they would hear noises from time to time around the place. On one morning, Jack is home alone around 6am, as Savannah had already left for work. But he hears a tapping noise that kept waking him up so he decides to record as he goes to look around and he captures something chilling okay so it's like almost six in the morning and savannah's already gone to work but i have been hearing this tapping noise for like the last 20 minutes that's the air conditioner it's not what i'm hearing it sounds like like, like a, someone's tapping with their finger. You hear that? He hears a tapping noise and as he pans the camera around, a creepy figure can be seen inside the bedroom, which quickly disappears as he turns around a few moments afterwards. Jack isn't the only one who experiences this activity, as one day Savannah experiences it herself. Hey, so I know some of you don't believe me, but I've been starting to get goosebumps and the hair on the back of my neck is starting to- WHAT THE HELL?! Moving. What happened? The silhouette of a wide looking person can be seen on the shower curtains, but as she pulls them open, there's nobody behind them, and Jack comes from the other way behind the corner, so it couldn't have been him. The next night, while filming Savannah, he would see something terrifying. You look tired. Yeah, kind of. Tonight was a long night. It was. Why are you filming me? You just look really good right now. I do think we're a pretty attractive couple. Don't you think? Yeah, definitely. Oh my god. What? What happened? Did you see something? What looks like two shadowy figures go past, possibly inside the house, as they could be a reflection. But then an actual figure in white moves across outside the window. But when they head outside, they see no signs of anything out of the ordinary. After this, Savannah starts to be more wary of the situation in the house. And the following night, she hears voices out on their balcony. So Jack decides to check it out. What he captures is undeniably creepy. Watch closely. Okay, so Savannah's saying that she's hearing voices out on the balcony, so I told her I would check it out. What the hell is that? saw somebody out there. Did you see something? A dark figure of someone or something is standing directly outside the window, but quickly vanishes as he turns around after hearing a noise inside the house. But just as he walks back through the corridor, we see a creepy pale dark grey face with dark eyes and fairly long hair, looking out from the darkness around the corner. Just as he goes back to his room, and Savannah asks if he saw anything. This seemed to go unnoticed at the time, 
but they are already convinced they have seen enough and are ready to move out. So is this a real ghost caught on camera, or just an intricate ruse? You judge. It follows. A woman named Brandy has always been sensitive to spirits and things related to the paranormal, just like her mum, and ever since she was young, she would experience some random paranormal events from time to time, like the occasional door opening on its own, or something moving by itself. And after moving houses, the activity seemed to follow her, although she believes it's not the same spirit, and that there are multiple who make an appearance once in a while. Well, one day while she's watching TV, she hears some strange noises coming from the hallway, so she gets her phone out to record it and captures this. All right, y'all, so I'm sitting here watching TV, and there's some strange noises that keep coming out of the hallway. So I told you we're going to document everything, so we're going to investigate this together. There's some banging noises coming up in here. Yeah, Toby, what the fuck is that? Well, there you go. Door shutting on their own. The door seems to close all by itself, drawing the dog's attention as well as Brandy's. But as she opens it, there's nobody inside. On another day, Brandy and her partner Aaron hear some creepy noises coming from the baby monitor, so he goes to check on the kids. Meanwhile, Brandy decides to record. What happens leaves her shaken to the core. What the fuck is happening? No, 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 no. Once again, the bathroom door moves by itself, but when she goes inside, there is no one in there. As she turns to walk out, something falls off the shelf, and the door that was once opened is now closed. It may not sound like much to some of you, but that is enough to terrify most people. Eventually, they set up some security cameras around the house, and a few days later, one of them captures this. Nobody. I thought I imagined the knock, but I guess you heard it too. I did. Ain't nobody here. Finish your schoolwork. Okay. Three knocks are heard at the door, but when she goes to open it, there's nobody there. Even her dog sensed something strange. Three knocks with nobody there is said to be a sign of a malevolent spirit trying to be acknowledged and welcomed into your home. So this could make things worse for the family. And a few days later it seems that's exactly what happened as the activity gets stronger and starts occurring more frequently. I got up and looked out the window, and then I saw blue lights, and this car going that way, and then I was going 
Yeah. All right, Blake, come get your basket. It's extremely hot and humid outside with no wind, which is why her door is open. But suddenly, the door slams shut with quite a bit of force. And then, a few moments afterwards, the lamp topples over all by itself. Later that day, her cat Tucker has its own creepy experience. Watch closely. For a little while, something seems to grab the cat's attention, and then suddenly the washing machine door opens by itself. On another day, she hears the toilet flush when no one's inside. Her dog then stands up and seems to be alerted by the presence of something unseen. And then this happens. Guys, I've been sitting on the couch working today because I slept wrong or some shit, and the toilet just flushed on its own. Toby's pretty freaked out. Um, we're gonna check. We're gonna we're gonna check this shit out for a second. Um, I flip the camera. <laughs> Y'all, what the fuck? This time, she thoroughly checks the room and makes sure it's impossible to conceal anyone or for anyone to sneak out of the door without being in frame of the camera. Yet, there is still no one there. On another day, the security camera captures some more unexplainable events. Something in the back opens and something else comes out all on its own once again. Later at night, one of the other home security cameras captures even more chilling activity. The lights flicker on and off on their own, and multiple doors can be seen opening and slamming shut. Keep in mind that this activity has taken place in her old house, and continued after moving houses. The activity seems to be steadily getting stronger over time, so we may see more soon. Okay, so it wasn't 
the unexplainable. Professor Cynical moved into a new home in Scotland and has been living there for about two years. He says that over the course of time he started hearing things around the house, but as his name suggests, he is cynical about everything and doesn't really believe in the paranormal. He simply dismissed these creepy events as natural occurrences due to wind. Although he is skeptical of the activity, he also can't seem to explain what's going on inside his house. But one day while home alone with his two baby daughters, he hears something strange and decides to record it to see if someone else can explain it. Watch closely. Right, so I keep hearing some strange noises. It's been going on for quite a while, so ignore the walls and that. We're still doing some decorating, but I just want you to see if you can hear the same thing I am. Every now and again, this door sounds like it's rattling or shaking or something. Hello? What is that? Hello? Hello? The door can be heard rattling, but when he opens it, there's nothing there. And as he looks at the stairs, a pair of footsteps are heard rushing down the stairs towards him. Not sure what to make of this, he continues to ignore it like it never happened. But eventually, over time, it gets stronger and worse, until just recently, when he could no longer ignore it, and ends up capturing this. I'm honestly done with this. Every other day pretty much, this happens. I posted about this before, but people just saying, oh, the door's moving because of the wind, and it wasn't anything. And over the course of so, over the course of so long, it, it's just getting worse. I'll show you as well, there's, there's literally nothing here. Got baby gate there. There's literally just shoe racks in that right there. Look, there's literally nothing. And if I look up here, mind the, ca oh, mind the camera. But look, there's literally nothing. Okay, let me set back up my tripod. Up there. Oh. Oh, that's new. What the heck? Hello? This time the door is rattling much more aggressively, to the point where you can physically see it. But once again there's nobody on the other side, and it would be hard for someone to sneak up the stairs unnoticed without making a sound, and then back down again to slide the bag. So just what do you think is going on here? Is this a real ghost caught on camera? Let me know. Haunted Winery a man named Julio works in a winery that is said to be haunted. 
All the other employees have said that they can often hear the voice of a little child echoing throughout the place. One night Julio was working the night shift in the winery and that was when he managed to hear what was reported by the other employees, a creepy childlike voice. So he decided to record straight away. This is what he captured. Niña, niña marciana, ¿dónde estás? Niña, niña marciana, ¿dónde estás? Oika. A strange voice can be heard coming from upstairs, but as he reaches the top, an open cabinet door slams shut on its own, scaring Julio out of there in an instant. Perhaps a girl suffered a tragic fate inside this building and now remains bound to the winery. But whether this is real or not, I'll leave the final judgement to you. Don't forget to check out our new channel Stories of Despair. The links are in the description and pinned comment. Subscribe and hit that bell icon so you never miss an upload. And follow us over on TikTok.